Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over the sixth album of Justin Bieber's called Justice. So it's only been a year since he released another al a previous album, which was uh, Changes, came out in 2020, um, which is a complete flop in my definition because I and it sucks because I think he was trying to get back into the success of Journals, which came out in 2014, which is his technically his only R&B album. I think he tried to do it again with Journals and just completely went flat due to the fact the production sounded exactly the same throughout the whole thing with a couple of sec like exceptions, but it pretty much was just one note. Um, so with that said, I think the reason, I think because of uh, changes, we end up getting justice because of it and it's just, I think that due to the fact that it flopped I think that he's like okay maybe maybe R&B isn't for me right now I'll just give them what they want which is pop or give them what I fit best in my comfort zone which is pop and I think this is exactly what this album is is a comfort zone it's not bad it's not bad I think it's definitely better than than, than changes I think it's the closest thing we get to towards purpose but not exactly there it's one of those things where just like it it did what it came to do technically. Um I also believe that there's pieces of it where it definitely it's leaning into it's continuing it's continuing the story of how his love for um Haley um Bieber is very big. Is is huge. Is he's really into her and if it's not her it's no one and it's just like it's He's very dependent on this love, and he's just really can't, like, describe how this came into his life, and he's so grateful for this love, and it's almost a little, I feel like, life changes, it gets to the point where it's just almost too grateful, it's like, I mean, you, you are your own individual person, so I also want to make sure, like, my concern in that direction is like, are you, like, a little too invested into this love, where it is the one that saved your life, like, I get that things that helps you get to a point, but they also aren't your, just be your circle, your center of the universe direction. But it might just be a metaphor. I think it's all leading to the direction of, it's just a metaphor of how powerful, how strong his love for her is. Um, so yeah, we start with that with a good portion of the first half of it from too much all the way to holy, uh, all the way to, all the way to, yeah, the whole album, honestly, it's about Haley. Um, with the touches of pieces that are about, near the end, that's about himself. Which is sucks, because I feel like, I feel like Purpose was in that direction where it does, where it did talk about himself, but it also talked about other things more? I don't know, it just, it feels like I would like an album where it is directly at him, how he is doing himself, you know? How's his mental health himself? Like, I understand that haley has been there for her, for him, with his love and marriage and everything, and Jesus has really done a great deal for him in that direction. But I feel like we're still, I feel like we're still getting a lot of filters in front of him to show, to say like these people did it for me, and I was like, yeah, I get it, but what does, what did they do? So how do you feel now? Now how does this feel? Like, what do you see yourself from back then to now? Like, what is, what has changed specifically for you? You know, it feels like it's like, it feels like I love my wife. I also love Jesus kind of thing, or God, and it just feels like if without them I would be, I would be lost. Yes, I understand that, but I want to see more. And I feel like I, I did get some of it with, um, I feel like there's some songs that are just like, you're hitting it, you're hitting it, this is it. Like, I love Lonely. The lo I know people, I hear people going off over the fact that the, the yodeling lonely part in the chorus was like, not for them, but I personally loved it. I thought it was really great, I thought it showed diversity in his vocals, and it also shows that he still has it vocally. Um, I feel like I really love that one because it felt it felt real. It felt about him. It felt just just real, and I just love that. And I also loved um, I also love "Loved by You" featuring Bernard Bo uh, Boy. I feel like in that direction, it's kind of touch. It doesn't really touch on um, his personal life. I think it just might be an actual story, or maybe just his idea of he loves. Um, Haley so much that he'll do, he ends up doing a lot of things that are way out of his way, he doesn't really need to, but he ends up doing it anyway, and he gets upset, he gets upset because he knows that that's not how Haley will see it the way, that would treat him the same way, and it's, it's just not, but it's expecting 
somebody to be exactly like you. And I think that he's trying to break that down. I like that too. It felt genuine. I felt like, yeah, I just felt like that. And I definitely want to point out there's a lot that he needs to give a huge thanks to John Man uh, Benel uh, B uh, Bileon, because if without him, I think this would, this, the lyrics wouldn't really, would sink, wouldn't really go, would flow as well without him. I definitely smelled John all over a good handful of the songs, mostly in the second half, but it's definitely, I can just smell him. I smell it in Die For You. I heard, I, the, vo the vocal part, if he's not, da, 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 like, that's exactly the way that sounds reminds me of his own song. So it makes it feel like, Sometimes it makes you feel like he like oh why don't you just take my song here here's my song or tell me what you feel okay okay this is what I got from that like it feels like he it feels like he was pretty much the center of the lyrics due to the fact that some of the songs sounds like his songs and I'm speaking of songs sounding like each something songs I feel like um the song um, Love You Different featuring uh, Beam sounds like more of a Beam song featuring Justin Bieber than the other way around. That's the only critiques I have for those things. Peaches has a little corny um, chorus, but I really, really like the song. It's just, it's catchy. Oh my god. And the fact that he tr that he had Daniel Caesar on this. Oh, uh, Daniel Caesar is so amazing. Oh, uh, he killed it. He, I love the fact that he took it in his own verse and changed the song. It reminded me of uh, um, uh, Lana Del Rey and Don't Call Me Angel, where she, where you, you got this. It felt like they like, oh, we need her to do something. Here, give us the lyrics, and we'll just, just lay it right in the middle of it. We'll change up the sound a little bit too, and it's just like it sounds like her own song for a very minute. We're in her world, and then we pop out into the mainstream commercial sound that comes afterwards. But I feel like exactly what Peaches, what he did with Peaches, like he, I felt like I was like. Oh, I'm in his world right now, and then I pop out back into Justin Bieber's, which is not bad. I think Justin Bieber did a decent job. Um, so yeah, I just, eh. it's, it's definitely did, it did what it came to do. It did a good, decent job. I'm glad that it's better than changes, that's for sure. And I'm glad that we're getting back into form in that direction. Now that he has done that, I would love to see him kind of, touch on more on Lonely, touch more on Love by You, touch more on those kind of directions, because I think that that would do a lot of justice and to justice. So don't get me started on the other part, but I'll, I'll leave that. Pretty much, we'll do more justice for him directly. I think we find, we got two albums now that are about Haley and God, <laughs> but I'd like to know more now. Now that we got that associated, now we know that he's fixed and cured, or, He's fixing himself with God and Haley and marriage. Great. That sounds pretty hetero direction of how things are usually fixed. Now tell us more about you. What is going on in your life? Tell us about the Lyme, Lyme disease thing. Like, how did that happen? Like, not how that happened, but like, how did it make you feel when people, like, gave you shit over that? Like, I know you pointed out in Lonely, but maybe a little more on that. Because I think that we, a good wagging at the social, uh, the world would be good. I think we need more of that for for you because I think you are being treated dis indecently. Um, Justice doesn't really fit this album. I think it should be more about love. I should have had a love title because Justice, when you're touching on the MLK intro from too much and the MLK in uh, interlude, I don't think I buy it. I'm not going to be the people like, well, it's the 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 king the fa the king family. I said it was okay, but you know, everybody's human. I don't put them as a hierarchy direction of like, they're, they know more wiser things because the person that knew more wiser things was MLK Jr. He's the one that knew it. So we don't even know if he actually would been okay with this or not. I think that people are, I, I think it's generous and I think it's very thoughtful for them to, to uh, very nice of them to let him have that. But I don't think it fits. It doesn't fit at all. I don't think it makes any sense. And I think, if this is a for, for it to be escape or escapism, then he should have said that and not put in the justice part. Because I feel like unless there's a song that comes after it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, so I'll be the one that says no. I'm not for the just the F MLK um, interludes and shit like that. I'm not into it. So, but with that said, this love story and this direction of talking about himself a little bit was a good 
good, good direction to go to. Um, that's pretty much it for this album. I give it, I give it an 8 out of 10. I, I think it's, I, it, once again, it came to do what exactly what it needed to do, and I love the fact that we're going back into pop, because I think that's where his, that's his ballywick, pretty much, and I think that's great. Um, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button, too, and the notification button, too, so you get more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next video.